Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a Walt Disney World travel day. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Mackenzie. I love making Disney World trip content here on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe down below because I have so much incoming. But today is our travel day, which is definitely my favorite day out of the whole trip, just because like all the anticipation of the trip is finally here. We have our whole trip ahead of us, and I am just so excited. I cannot wait to share this next trip series with you guys because it's a really special one. My little sister and I are heading to Disney World for her 23rd birthday and to celebrate the Christmas season. So we are just really excited to spend this time together, especially now that we live in different cities. Just nice, good, quality sister time together is incoming and we have the most fun at Disney together. Here Here's am. Madison. This is my sister. Hello. This is who good we're morning. celebrating. How oh. are we? So I already got a resort. I already got, already got my resort cup. <laughs> right. Ready She's just go. using it in the car, but it's okay. Anyway, we have a little bit of a trip to the airport, like less than two hours. It's 3.55 in the morning, which is crazy. I think once we get to the airport, we're going to try to do breakfast then. We just don't want like our energy to like hit too early and then crash because we have a very long night ahead of us and you'll see why in a bit. So we're going to go ahead and head to the airport and we will check in with you guys there. Well, we have made it to the airport. Um, nice drive, very foggy. We have made it here and it is, what time is it? 6.01 on the dot and our goal is to be here by six. So we made it here. We are just going to go find the security, get through, and then try to find us something for breakfast. We need a little energy. Coffee. Madison needs coffee, coffee and I need a green tea. So let's head in. I'm so excited. We got our little suitcases. We haven't shown Madison's suitcase. You can't really see it, but it's a Darth Vader suitcase. It's so cool. You love it? I love it. Okay, let's go to security. <laughs> Update for you guys, we made it through security. It was like a five minute walk through through security. We breezed through it. Once we got through security, we stopped and got some snacks. I have to have a drink on the plane, so I've got a cherry Coke Zero. These are so good if you haven't tried them before. I love them. It's a very subtle cherry taste because I don't really love cherry, but these are good. And then I got a bottle of water. Madison stopped at Starbucks and she got a white chocolate ice mocha. You can see it. It looks so pretty. Like I love the color. It just looks good. I don't drink coffee, so I let her share that stuff, but it looks really good. And then we already devoured our chocolate croissant. Oh no, there's a little left. There's half of it. So we split a little chocolate croissant. So good. I'm laughing at how they spelled Madison's name. Madden. M-A-D-I-N. It's like they, they forgot the S, basically. They forgot the And the, yeah, oh yeah. They forgot a lot of letters, but it's fine. It's early in the morning. Madison's just putting on some makeup now um, because we woke up at 3 a.m. So we didn't really have time for all that. I don't think I've mentioned that we are flying Southwest, which Madison's never done before. If you don't know, basically Southwest, you board the plane based on when you check in. It's essentially like a virtual queue because you like check in 24 hours in advance and you hope that you get an early spot so you can board the plane early and get like a window seat or get a seat close to the front. We are in boarding B6 and 7, so we're really early, hoping we can get an exit row or something, that way we have a little more space. But we are just gonna hang out, talk a little bit about the day, and we will see you guys on the flight to Orlando. behind us we have the beautiful MCO Orlando Airport we are actually heading to get an uber now I talked about this in our plan with me trip and the pre Disney trip plans video whatever video it was that we were taking an uber so I know to get to the uber you follow all the signs but basically they just direct you to level two and then there's places around that you can do the uber so we're gonna do that we'll show you guys because we have no clue what we're doing so wish us luck but we're here we have made it to level two and there's a lot of like signs everywhere that says ride share pickup outside. Come on the Uber app. I'm just gonna do where we are, Terminal A, where to, Pop Century Resorts, and choose our options. I think we're gonna go with an XL just because we have some luggage, all of this. And like I said before, sometimes it doesn't fit an X. So we'll do that, $43, split between the two of us. No problem. All right, so we booked our Uber. They're one minute away, so that was like no time at all. We are just gonna wait here. Always make sure you use all the safety precautions with Uber. We're gonna check the license plate, and then we will be headed to Pop Century. We're gonna time how long it takes. 
because I want to kind of tell you the difference between Uber and Mirrors Connect, which is the shuttle service. So we'll let you guys know. We'll check in with you guys when we get to the Uber. We are headed to Disney now. It is 11.40. It has us getting there at what time? Like 12.05. So that's crazy. We're timing it. We're gonna see how long it takes. It's really easy to find the location. Like I said, you just go down to the second floor and there's tons of signs kind of pointing you there. And then on the app, you just kind of pick what kind of station you're standing at and that helps everybody find you. So we're headed to Disney. The weather is beautiful. Like, let me show you guys. Blue skies, perfect temp. It's not too hot. Feels amazing. We're about to be at Disney. How do you feel? Excited. Very excited. Ready for Pop Century. Ready for Pop Century. I don't know if I told you guys that's where we're staying. I mean, you know about the title, but we're headed back to Pop Century, which is a favorite of ours, and we haven't been in a while, so it's good. We're here. Everyone's so nice. So nice. We have made it to Pop Century. <laughs> oh my gosh, the Christmas decorations. Madison, the Christmas decorations. <laughs> It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. <laughs> it smells so good in here. I can't believe we're home. We haven't been to Pop Century. I haven't been since Bryce and I's trip. So it's been like two years and I am so happy. Oh. Madison got her a little birthday pin for her birthday. Oh, how cute. So we just got checked in at the front desk back there. We just asked them if we could get a Skyliner room. And the loveliest woman named Lou was like, okay, I can get you a Skyliner room if you can wait just a little bit. So we were like, yeah, we can eat lunch. She was like, I can't tell you exactly where the room is, but I gave you a really, really great location with a lake view for Madison's birthday. Like, <laughs> and she gave her bag, and, and she got the little pin. Oh my God. So we're gonna drop our bags off now. We're gonna go eat yeah. lunch and then just like enjoy, enjoy. take it in for a second enjoy. and then you'll get a room tour. But I think magical. it's gonna be an amazing room and an amazing view and really close to the Skyliner. Yeah. Which we asked for that because we're only really going to Magic Kingdom, Hollywood, and Epcot. Tonight we'll take the bus, but the other two days we're gonna wanna be on the Skyliner. So it's gonna be perfect. We're in the 60s building, which is also close to the main lobby. Like, I cannot wait to see our room. So let's drop our bags and let's get something to eat. Woo! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh so we are in the little luggage assistance area. This is where we can drop off our bags so we can go enjoy the resorts, the parks, everything like that. There's a separate place at Pop Century for checkout, but this is for check-in. So we're gonna do this and hopefully after we eat lunch, our room will be ready. So we just dropped off our bags at the baggage service. Really easy process. You just hand them your bags. They give you a little slip for you to come pick them back up. But we are gonna explore Pop Century for a second before we eat lunch. Look at that beautiful Christmas tree. Like Madison, we are here at Christmas. Is that <laughs> I think we're gonna explore the Everything Pop Shop now. Yes. Um, Madison loves to shop, so you will see a yeah. lot of shopping in these vlogs. Yes. She's a nurse now. She's got money to spend, and she has saved it for Disney. Oh my gosh, the Christmas Crocs. I mean, already, Madison. I'm in the Magic Man section, and I'm tearing up. Why am I crying right now, Madison? <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> It's the Magic Man Floods. I don't even want one. It just got me. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a long uh, trip. We have made it outside now. It, the weather, Madison, is so good. Like, you can wear leggings, you can get away with short sleeve. I mean, it's perfect. But we are heading back to the Skyliner to head to the Riviera. We're doing a little resort hop in, which is crazy on the first day. Usually we go straight to a park, but today we're just taking it easy before the Christmas party. So, look at this place. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love it, I'm so happy. I wanted to talk about our Uber ride. Wonderful experience, probably we'll do Uber every time from here on out. It yeah. took us 25 minutes yeah, to get from no at all. in the car to like us checking in. It was crazy, like yes. how fast we got here. So definitely recommend Uber. I felt really safe, would yeah. you say? Yeah. He drove really safe, he was driving fast, but I think it was the speed limit, I didn't look. Anyway, we're hungry, we're heading to lunch. Also, I wanted to show you guys this is the Skyliner and this is the building she said we're gonna be in we don't know exactly where yet but she said we will face the lake so I don't know where we're gonna be but I cannot wait to see it because this looks incredibly close to the Skyliner and to the main lobby area it is time for the first ride of the trip which is the best ride the Skyliner so this is where you get on if you're staying at Art of Animation or Pop Century we'll hop on go to the Caribbean and transfer to the Epcot one to get to the Riviera what? Two, three, woo! Skyliner! Woo! <laughs> oh, it feels so good in here. Guys, look at the lighting. Like, that just shows you how good the weather is. It is good lighting up in here. Oh my gosh. We have a clear one too, so we're getting to actually see everything. This is, Madison, this is a great start to the trip. Like, it it's is. been a very perfect trip so far, and I'm just feeling so happy and so thankful that we're here. Look at the birthday girl taking selfies. 
Her birthday is December 6th. We're here December 1st. So celebrating a little early, but she has to work on her birthday. I couldn't get off, of course. Of course. So we're here early. This is the Caribbean Beach main Skyliner hub where you can get back on to go to Pop Century and Art Animation that way. You can go to Hollywood Studios this way and Riviera and Epcot on this way. So it's really good if you're staying at Caribbean Beach because you have access to everything from here, but it's a really easy way to just transition. Just heading right over, gonna get us some lunch. Just looking at the Riviera, this is definitely my next resort to stay at. Like it is so beautiful. It feels very authentically Riviera and it's got so much to look at and so much to see and I cannot wait to try out the quick service. We have made it to Primo Priada, Primo Piada at the beautiful Riviera. Here's a couple little sneak peeks of what they have. I'm kind of like this grilled chicken sandwich looks really good. The pizza looks really good. All of it looks really good. So I think we're gonna mobile order and like grab a seat because there's a little bit of a line. So we're gonna do that. It's so beautiful here, guys. I just I can't get over it. So I got the croque monsieur. It's like ham and cheese. There's cheese on top. It looks so good. And these are the Romano and her fries. And Madison just got the grilled chicken sandwich. Oh, that looks good. It's a good portion size too. Like it's not too much because we're not super hungry. So. We got our drinks. They have the fun refillable, like different kind of variety drinks. So we're gonna dig in. We're so hungry. It looks so good. Madison and I are like stuffing our faces full. But Madison just took a bite of her sandwich and was like, is it good? This is so good. It's very greasy. Both of these are very extremely hard to eat. Do not take it on the go, but it is so good. These fries, 10 out of 10. Like so incredible. We're happy. Good decision, huh? So we are on the Skyliner, clearly, heading back to Pop Century, but review of Prima Fiata, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Like, so 100%. good. 100% 10 out of 10. It was my favorite quick service I've ever eaten on property, yeah. so definitely we'll go back there. Yeah. We are heading back to Pop Century because our room is ready. Yes. We looked it up on the map. It is an amazing room, so I can't wait to show you guys. We're going to pick up our bags, head yeah. back there, unpack, full room tour incoming, so we will see you guys when we get to our room. We made it to our room. We are in 4440, if you're wondering. Please look at our view. That is the Skyliner. You can see the Skyliner, you can see the lake. The station is like literally a two second walk. That's it right there. It is absolutely stunning. I cannot believe that we got this room. We just went up and asked saying, hey, can we be close to the Skyliner? Yeah. She was like, I'm gonna hook y'all up. She delivered. She, she hooked us. We waited like an hour for it to be ready, but it was definitely worth it. So Madison's doing the honors and in we go. I was like, did it work? Oh. oh. Wow, look at it guys. It's so pretty. Welcome my old name, the Allen family. It's my name. So <laughs> welcome me. It is time for a room tour. I love doing Pop Century room tours because I love the way this room is set up. So when you walk in the front door here, you have a Murphy bed that pulls out. We will use it because Madison will sleep in this one. I'll sleep in that one. You just kind of pull the chairs back. It's really easy. And then I like how we can put it back up and like eat here or like do whatever we want here. It's really nice to like make it more floor space. I noticed they had the Hey Disney here. Um, it's basically an A-L-E-X-A -E if you know, you know. We're gonna try that out later, but they got some information here. I think they're putting this in all of the rooms which is really cool. I think we're really gonna like that. Moving on over here to the right of the door, you have a beverage cooler. This is not a refrigerator. Just keep that in mind if you're trying to store anything perishable. It's just to keep like beverages cool. Then you have a little drawer here with, you know, you could put whatever you want. You have a little like coffee maker with some coffee set up here. And then I like these shelves, especially on a longer trip. We usually put our groceries up here and it's really nice. Moving on, we just have a beautiful little drawer set here. They're nice, big, deep drawers. And then right here you have your safe in there and I think extra pillows and stuff for the Murphy bed over there. Madison, the model. I love all the counter space here. It's really great for all the charging. Like I'll charge my stuff here. Madison will charge her stuff there. And neither of us like are ever in need of a charger. Beautiful big TV, beautiful coat rack here. Again, even more chargers on the side of the bed. Beautiful retro Mickey. I love the look of this room. Moving on to the bathroom now. We have a really huge sliding door that allows for some privacy. And then right to the right, you have a little closet area with plenty of hangers for the both of us. Some storage down there. More storage over here, one sink. Only downside of this room is one sink, but we will make do for a couple days. And then over here, we just have, a, yeah, it should be the iron and the blow dryer. So that's perfect. In the bathroom, we have a shower tub set up in here. Not all of them come like this, I don't think, but this one's really nice. And then we have a sliding door 
with a full length mirror. Okay, so we have been unpacking and kind of settling in a little bit. I wanted to show you guys how we kind of unpack the room. I just think it's something that I don't really see in vlogs and I wanted to show you guys. Madison moved the chairs over here. We usually push them over here when we have the bed down. That way she can use that as a suitcase holder. We can have the chairs out of the way. Madison's packing is immaculate. She has the whole other side of her suitcase in for souvenirs, so. She's gonna, Play she's, ahead, man. she's Play doing ahead. great. Um, over here, I just have like all my charging stuff. This is my outfit for the Christmas party tonight. Oh yeah. And then we have our little ear organizer over here and jacket organizer. So we just kind of have those there. We don't have any bags really to bring. So we just put those there and it looks really cute. Yep. Put our shoes out down here. Madison saw and put hers, but we'll put them for when we're done for the day so we don't trip over them. Another thing, this is the laundry bag organizer that I talked about in my pack and prep with me. This is where I put my dirty clothes. I just hang it on one of the pants hangers and then it's in the closet. My dirty clothes are not on the floor. I used to put them like in here when I didn't have this bag. So it's out of the way. I can zip it closed. I love that. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is how much storage space is under these beds. There is so much room under these beds. So we just kind of stuff our suitcases under there when we're done unpacking because this bed is not the one that folds up. So this will always be there. And then as far as my packing cubes, I literally put them directly in the drawer. I don't even take anything out of the packing cubes. That way when I go to pack it all up, it's super easy and just carefree. So I think that's gonna do it for this travel day video. Thank you guys so much for following along with us. Today was the most perfect travel day I think we've ever had. Like everything mm -hmm. went really smoothly. I think it's because we really just like went with the flow. And even with the room not being ready, usually we like to come straight here. We were like, we can wait. And we got an amazing yeah. room where I can Waiting see the skyliners. Sky Waiting is worth it. Waiting is definitely worth it. So I'm very happy with this setup. I can't wait to just finish unpacking and start getting ready for the very Merry Christmas party. That's gonna be a totally separate vlog because I need a whole vlog dedicated to all of the Christmas celebrations. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. Be sure to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of the upcoming vlogs that are coming so soon. Again, thank you guys for watching and spending your day with us and we will see you soon.